My fellow compassionate capitalist, Steve Wall here with Titan Impact Group and next to me in a place of honor, an authentic autographed picture of Miss Rosa Louise McCauley, AKA Rosa Parks, born this day, February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama, the segregated South, the era of Jim Crow laws, an era that when Rosa spoke of, she said that this was the time in her life when she realized there truly was a difference between a white world and a black world. You see, Rosa had to walk to school while the white kids got to ride the bus. Now, is this a catalyst for something that was about to happen in the future? Who knows? Rosa went on to move to Montgomery, Alabama, where she met and married Raymond Parks, a barber and an NAACP activist in 1943, partially because Rosa was the only woman in the room. She was elected secretary of the Montgomery chapter of the NAACP. She was also brought on as a sexual assault uh, investigator. Now this was very important to her as in 1931, a white neighbor tried to sexually assault her. She would go and if black men had been accused of assaulting a white woman, she would make sure they had their day in court that uh, they had a voice, that they could be able to defend themselves the best that they could. She would also do the same with white, uh, excuse me, with, with black women who had been uh, assaulted by white men uh, to give them a voice and for justice to hopefully be served. Of course, what history knows her as is what happened on December 1st, 1955, when she refused to get up her uh, seat at the front of the bus and go to the back. This was the spark needed to set off the civil rights movement in full force to allow uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others to start the uh, Montgomery bus boycott that lasted more than a year. Now, shortly after that happened, Rosa did uh, move to Detroit, but she came back for the uh, Selma uh, Montgomery March. She also traveled around the country championing civil rights and uh, speaking in different uh, places. Uh, she had a huge impact on America. In fact, in 2005, when Rosa died, she was the first non-elected official, the first true-blooded American to lie in honor at the rotunda in our nation's capital. You see, Every now and then, Washington, D.C. does get something right. We at Titan Impact Group honor Rosa Parks and those like her who understand that just because the physical chains and restraints have been taken off of someone, that does not make them free. That someone who has been in bondage, the only way they're ever going to be free is if they are given an equal opportunity to participate in our economy. You see, when a person is able to participate in the economy, they're able to uh, receive compensation for the goods and services that they provide. They are then able to take that compensation and purchase other goods and services that they are in need of. This is the foundation and the cornerstone of freedom. This is the foundation and cornerstone on which equal rights, civil rights, is founded and can be built upon. We at Titan Impact Group practice compassionate capitalism. We invite our funding partners to become economic abolitionists. You see, our government through its overreach has told many Americans they no longer have the ability to provide for themselves, that they can no longer work, that they can no longer take part in the American dream, that they are being shackled and forever will have to be doing what the government tells them to do. All with a disease that has a 99% recovery rate, one that is so deadly, you have to be tested to know that you have it. We are better than this, America. Our history is filled with people who also had very high chances, but 
there was a 100% chance that anything Rosa did, anything that she stood up for, there would be severe blowback. There would be death threats. And eventually, as many people, such as Dr. Martin Luther King and others did, Malcolm X, they gave their lives for what's standing up for their opportunity to participate freely and equally in our economic system. So with that, Titan Impact Group does honor you, Rosa. Thank you for setting the example. Happy birthday. I'm Steve Wall. I know money, and I am a sentinel of the American dream.